Hi there, Kendra Tolbert here. I'm a registered dietitian and yoga teacher, and I specialize in women's health and fertility. And today I have the third video in our five part yin yoga for fertility series. In this practice, we will be exploring the water element. I will say for these poses, be especially mindful of any tendency to wanna to push to your physical limit. Instead, I encourage you to explore those first subtle bits of sensation when you come to a pose. Allow that to be enough. And if your body invites you to move a bit further or differently into a pose, then accept that invitation, but don't force your way in. All right, so there aren't any props that you need to have for this practice, but of course, if there's something that would make you feel more comfortable, please go ahead, grab that, roll out your mat, and let's get started. Oh, one last thing before we get started, make sure to stick around to the very end where I will have some journal prompts or some reflection questions for you to explore so that you can dig a bit deeper into the water element and what it has to offer you to support your fertility and overall well being. Okay, now we can get started. Join me, seated at the center of your mat. Place the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to fall down towards the mat away from one another. Place your hands onto your knees, then allow your hands to slide down to your ankles. Place your thumbs at the space between your ankle bone and your Achilles tendon. Then begin to make slow, gentle circles here. As you continue to make circles here, I invite you to close your eyes and bring your attention to this spot. Slow your circles down even more until you finally come to a complete stop. From here, begin to lift and lower your knees. I like to think of this as a pumping motion, as if I were pumping energy and blood throughout my pelvic region to truly nourish myself and rejuvenate myself. Perhaps you like to think of it that way too. Begin to slow down your pumping motion until you finally come to a stop. Bring your attention to your pelvic region. What do you feel here? What do you notice here? When you're ready, place your hands behind your hips, straighten one leg out to the side, and then the other. With your feet flexed, rotate your legs forward and backward, all the way from the hip down to your feet. Bring your legs back to a neutral position, then begin to make circles with your ankles and your feet, first in one direction. And when you're ready, in the other direction. Bring your feet and ankles back to a neutral position, then bring your hands to the insides of your legs. Begin to sweep your hands up your legs towards your pelvis, 
reaching down as far as you can and back up. Bring your hands to the mat in front of you and slowly allow your upper body to melt down towards the mat. Be gentle with yourself here. Allow your body to guide you and how far you go. When you're ready, slowly lift your torso, walk your hands back, and then place your hands behind your hips once again. Rest here, noticing any changes in sensation or circulation in your legs, your ankles, your feet, your pelvis, or anywhere else in your body. Slowly, bring your legs together. Lie back on your mat with your knees bent. Soles of your feet are flat on the floor. Savor this moment of rest.
When you're ready, bring your knees together and walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Then bring your fingertips to your collarbone towards the midline of your body. Then slide your fingers down right below your collarbones till you come to a little divot and begin to massage this spot. As you do, what do you experience? What do you feel? When you're ready, bring the tops of your hands back down to the mat by your sides, palms up. Rest here. Gently draw your knees in, aiming them towards your armpits. Flex your feet and reach for either the sides of your feet, the ankles, the backs of your thighs, or your big toes. Choose what feels best to you, what allows you to rest and feel at ease. Allow the soles of your feet to meet, then bring them down to the mat. 
knees open wide, sides of your feet are in contact with the mat. Place your hands onto your hips, and if it feels good to you, close your eyes. Rest here. Straighten one leg and then the other. Then place your hands onto the mat, palms up. I invite you to close your eyes and rest here. When you're ready, bend one leg, then the other. Roll over onto your side. Slowly press yourself up. Come to a comfortable seated position and place your hands onto your knees or thighs. Inhale to circle your arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands come through the center of your chest. Again, inhale and circle up. Exhale, hands come down to the center of your chest. 
last time. Inhale, arms come up, palms touch. Exhale, hands come to the center of your chest. Thank yourself for giving yourself this time to move and breathe. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this practice and that you feel rejuvenated, restored, and maybe even refreshed. Okay, so here are your reflection questions. What fears might I have about my fertility? Where did these fears come from? What can water teach me about how to face my fears and support my fertility? Remember, you will find these questions in the description box below. Thank you once again for allowing me to guide you in a practice. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Be well and bye for now.